A network that is set up only within the vicinity of a person is called a personal area network. They only require few devices, which may include a wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, a laptop, or a mobile phone. These networks are mostly set up in a temporary location, but if you want a permanent setup, you could get your own small workspace. Another type of network is a local area network. This network is set up within an office, a home, or a group of buildings in an area. Networks that are the size of a city are called metropolitan area networks. This type of network connects together networks from homes, offices, and campuses to foster communication among them. Because of its size, you'll need a connection that allows for high-speed transmission of data, such as optical fiber. Networks can grow from the size of a single building to the size of a country, a continent, or the entire world. This is called a wide area network. The internet is a wide area network. Now, let's dive in and talk about the different ways in which devices can be connected on a network, otherwise known as the topology of the network. Hello guys, today we'll talk about network topologies. A network topology describes the layout of the network. It means how devices are arranged and connected on a network. A network topology is divided into two types, physical topology and logical topology. The physical topology describes how network cables are used to connect devices, and the logical topology describes how the data packets or messages travel on the network. Let's look at these topologies briefly. The simplest topology that exists is the point-to-point -point topology. It is one where only two nodes exist on a single dedicated connection. A link is not shared in a point-to-point -point topology as only the two devices can exist on that link. Multipoint topology. It is a type of topology where devices can share a single link. Sharing of this link can be based on space or based on time. If sharing is based on space, the multipoint topology is said to be spatially shared. If it is based on time, the multipoint topology is said to be temporally shared or time shared. Bus topology. In a bus topology, a single cable called a bus is the channel where the sent data passes before reaching the required destination. The type of cable that was used in this application is the coaxial cable. Devices are attached to the bus using a BNC T connector. This network has no privacy as any transmission is received by all nodes or devices on the link even though it is not needed. Star topology. It has a central device called a concentrator and then other devices are connected to this concentrator so that they communicate with each other through this device. This central device can be a hub or a switch. Looking at this connection, it takes the shape of a star or the hub and spoke of a bicycle. A star connection can also be called hub and spoke. The term hub and spoke is also used for a point to multipoint topology on a frame relay network, but it's not within the scope of this presentation. Ring topology. Devices in a ring topology are interconnected to form a closed loop. Data is only transmitted in one direction, that is, either clockwise or anticlockwise. Each participating node in the ring reads a message sent from the source device, copies it, and sends to its next neighbor until it reaches the actual destination device. Mesh topology. This topology requires that any two nodes selected on the network must have a point-to-point -point connection between them. For four computers, we need six point-to-point -point connection to form a full mesh. For five computers, we need 10 point-to-point -point connections. 
The number of point-to-point -point connections for n number of devices is obtained by multiplying n by n minus 1 and then dividing the result by 2. So in order to do a full mesh connection of 50 computers, for example, we need about 50 multiplied by 49 and then divided by 2. Wow, I'm certainly buying a hub to do a star connection after seeing this result. A mesh topology is quite easy to understand, but difficult and expensive to set up. However, it has good fault tolerance and redundancy. Check out the questions on the next slide. If you like this video, you can support us by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video. Thank you for watching.